Namaste to all students. This is my video tutorial on the chapter The Fundamental Unit of Life. My first question is that what is the fundamental unit of life? You must have got the answer. This fundamental unit of life is cell. The cell which is present in every living being, every living structure, whether plants or animals are made up of cell. All the functions of the organism are also performed by cell. So cell is also called the structural and functional unit of life. In this chapter, we will study in detail the structure and functioning of various components of the cell. So let's start this chapter. On your screen you can see different types of cells and the instrument which is used to observe these cells in the laboratory. Cells are called the structural and functional unit of life. Different body parts are made up of the same fundamental units that is cell. Cells can perform different life processes such as growth, respiration, production of energy. There are different sizes and shapes of the cell. Different cells are of different sizes. The largest cell we know is an egg of an ostrich that is about 170 mm long. On the other hand, the smallest cell is mycoplasma that is only 0.1 micrometer. Cells of different or larger organisms can be of same size as that of the smaller organism. There is only difference in the number of cells. If the organism is big sized, the number of cells in its body is more. If the organism is small sized, it contains only less number of cells. Let's talk about different shapes of cell. Cells have diverse shapes to perform different tasks. The different shapes of cells are given below. First, long and branched. The nerve cells are long and branched, which helps it in relaying signals. Cylindrical. The muscle cells are cylindrical in shape to sh help in muscle contraction. Long and hollow, the xylem cells in plants are responsible for movement of water, so they are long and hollow. Disc shaped, the red blood cells, RBC, are discoid, that is disc shaped. This shape helps them to move easily in narrow blood vessels. From these all points, it is clear and it can be concluded that the shapes of the cells are related to the function they perform. Let's talk about history of cell. Cell was discovered by Robert Hooke. He discovered cells from a thin slice of cork, which is obtained from the bark of tree. Cell in Latin means a little room. Anthony von Leeuwenhoek discovered free living cells in pond water with the help of his improved microscope. Jacob Schleden and Schwann proposed the cell theory according to which all living structures are made up of cell. Rudolf Virchow add one more point in that cell theory by proposing that new cells arise from pre-existing cells. This is compound microscope an instrument which is used to observe cells in the laboratory. This compound microscope has two types of lenses, objective lens and eyepiece. Objective lens is near to the specimen, eyepiece where we look into the microscope. It has two types of adjustment screws. The coarse adjustment screw that is used to focus the slide and fine adjustment knob that is used for bringing the clarity in the slide. There is a condenser which controls the amount of light entering into the slide and a mirror at its base to reflect the light. This is compound microscope. Now let's study the structure of cell in detail. All organisms have similar structural organization. So all cells are made up of three parts. Plasma membrane which is also called cell membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm. Plant cells have an additional structure apart from these and it is the cell wall. Means in plant cells, 
in addition to the plasma membrane or cell membrane there is an outer cover of cell wall now let's talk about plasma membrane or cell membrane in detail the boundary of the cell is called plasma membrane it is a flexible structure which is made up of lipids that is fats and proteins the speciality about the plasma membrane is this that it is a living membrane which is selectively permeable that is it allows only selective substances to move in and out of the cell by the process of diffusion water moves in and out of the cell by the process of osmosis gases move in and out of the cell by the process of diffusion the flexibility of the plasma membrane also help amoeba in engulfing its food by the process of endocytosis cell wall cell wall is hard and rigid layer present in the cells of some organisms like plants and bacteria it is present outside the plasma membrane and in plants the cell wall is made up of cellulose and it is a dead structure its function in plants is to provide strength and rigidity as plants have no bones or hard structures let's talk about nucleus nucleus is the control center for all the activities of the cell in animal cells it is located in the center 